day thing. But we do have some very special features for you. Lined up the entire month on Friday night will be brought to Family Film Night on Rainier Avenue Radio, where again, every Friday we're broadcasting uh, films earlier. We'll be having the Hartsfield Family Quilt Collection. Now, these are slave quilts. It's the oldest collection of slave quilts in the world. Quilts that date back to 1861, I believe. And the thing about these quilts is that they have codes written into them. Now, academia will tell you this doesn't exist. These codes were used to the, the quilts were made, they were hung over the clothesline, and they would direct runaway slaves to safe passageways. Uh, they'd also have special messages in them sometimes for communities of slaves, and they're called the quilt codes. Uh, again, academia would say these don't exist, but coming from a community that uses oral uh, historical means, we know that to be true. And if they wrote it down, it, it wouldn't exist. I mean, they'd be killed it would be found out. So you'll find out more and you'll see some of these historic quotes dating back to 1861 uh, and then just the ability for them to make these quotes out of rags and whatever they had and the artwork and the skill that was involved in these, I can't overstate it. So we have a lot going on, but we are here tonight uh, for our musical performance. Uh, Tyrone Bob Lovelace will be performing tonight and Man, uh, he, he decided he was just going to bring some friends with him. And he's been a fixture in the Seattle music scene for the past 30 years, playing on bands like Aaron Jones, Marmalade, Willow, Fat Sidey Smokehouse, Weedle's Groove, The Ganja Farmers, The Clarence Mack Express, and many, many more. He's also a teacher <laughs> of guitar, bass, piano, banjo, ukulele at the Seattle Drum School of Music in Georgetown. And he's taught there since its opening. Joining Tyrone tonight will be Sting Shot on guitars and vocals. Joey Soul Bomb on keys and vocals. Kane Cold Note <laughs> on vocals. Conrad Real on drums. All of you out there right now, let's let them hear it in Columbia City, in the Columbia City Theater. Make some noise for Bob Lovelace and friends. <laughs>
nice looking out into a world that I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but thank you for letting us be here. It's a, it, being an American and a black American, it's an honor to always do anything for black history. And it, and it has nothing to do with the missing or the needed history. It's the present history. And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing journey, you know, because no one like, when I hold this guitar, I'm not just holding a guitar. My mom's from North Carolina, my dad's from Virginia, so, and I'm from Philadelphia. So there's a lot of history that just came to me before I even played this. And when I, and when I play it, in a way, I respect what they taught to me. So what we're gonna do right now, in honor of that, is a uh, Booker T style jam. A little, a little Booker T-ish thing.
insert crowd. That's how you end the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all there? Did you with a dog song on song? You just walk the hell on. <laughs> Can we jam some real quick? Oh. Yeah! yeah. Sugar that day to eat your nose by the sugar screen. Take it back to the old school, you know what I'm saying? That street poetry. Kind of back when we used to go, don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to go upside your damn head. <laughs> <laughs> Notice I didn't say who xenophobe knew. Hip the 702 already to new. Can the baby come too? Name the baby of Jenny Shandy Betty Yay, cause they're gonna do it all day. Yeah, crumbs keep falling off my lips cause I move on my trip. Today a new year, yeah, forget I been tripped. Yo, another way to slip. It's cold up in here, but we gonna warm it up on some old school hip hop, yup. Seattle hip hop is how we do it. Hip hop history month up in this mug. It's Black History Month. Don't get it twisted, confused. A wall across the way making you so you ain't confused about the facts. Yo, we gonna do it and take it back. Cut up no slack, cause we gonna lift up like a jack. And maybe it's gonna be that back. Yeah, 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 yeah. 2020's a mug. They about to send the other 1400 like it's about to bump it. How many songs we gotta sing? It could be an info dump. Make the ring ring. Make them really wanna sing. But we really gotta bring the people together when it boils back down to the facts. Yo, we got to Mac. And then we can stack the feelings and keep it real for real then. Cause 2020, 21 is what we be dealing. Moving forward for real. Yo, keep it on the pill. Boogie boys, you know. 
Yo, we gonna keep it a make it roll. Stroll forever, forever. Forever. It's non-stop up in here, y'all. Got the, got the, got the music in effect. Warm it up, warm it up. Healing vibes up in here. Trying to keep it real. Play this reggae song. I hope you enjoy it.
To the rhythm, yes, maybe we can see the step. You could yo, we keep the best, yes. No stress, because they're gonna just flex. Textiles, you know, I'm gonna just let you know. Kick it 2021, stop fucking 2022. This is how we're gonna do every day. You wanna put on a different pair of shoes so you can walk outside and do your thing. Yo, we gonna just swing to this thing, bust it through the mask if you wanna ask this thing. I'ma tell you all day what you wanna say in the house. Cause we got to play the brick walls. It's bouncing, it's ouncing and ouncing. Yo, I'm announcing, I'ma do some pouncing when it comes down to the nitty gritty. Yo, and as I look through my past, it and I'm making really it on the last, going around and sit there and I get no clock. As I make it not stop, the heat, it gets hot. As I rise up from the bottom, then I climb to the top. You never know. 
and they stop with just the flow. I take it to the back and I make it to the back and they make it like a show. You know, go as I live day to day. The blood that comes to my back and it says what it says. Yo, read all the words before they are written. I take it around, I make my sound. You know, it's not smitten like that kid did to the cat. A baseball to the bat. You look around and see me. LBD knows where it's at. Say, oh, whoa. Say, whoa. Say, whoa. Sexy body for me, hey, baby. Whiny, whiny. Say whiny, whiny, whiny. Whiny, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you for letting us get together, too. It, it's hard for musicians to play together in this time. So thank you for being there while we saw each other for the first time in a long time. <laughs> it, oh yeah, thank you for putting up with that.
Bob Lovelace and friends. How you doing, my friend? <laughs> Everybody out there, give it up for Bob Lovelace and friends. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was, that was an amazing performance. So first of all, thank you for being here, all of you celebrating Black History Month with us. Um, what an amazing example uh, of musicianship. Well, thank you. Yeah. Just, just, just phenomenal, man. Um, well, let's, let's, let's start with this, Bob. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, oh uh, where you're coming from. I talked about you um, and, and the number of instruments that you played before. Uh, I talked about all the bands you played in. Uh, just give us some background, man. How, how you got started, where you're from, and uh, all that. Uh, uh, I'm just an uh, I'm just an adopted Quaker Black Baptist from Pennsylvania, <laughs> just born in Philly. <laughs> Just a, it's just a simple American story, you know. <laughs> and so you play a number of different instruments. Wh which was the first? My uh, first instrument was piano. First was piano? Yeah, because of, my, because of my mom. But, you know, then I wanted to play guitar because of Kiss. Okay. Yeah, and I thought I was going to be, I, I, I had dreams, man. I had a tennis racket. I was going to be this monster guitar player. <laughs> then I walked in a room with my friend, uh, John Ewing and Mark Lero. And it was like, the day's come, all right? This is it. This is it. Wait till you guys see me. And John walks in and sits behind a drum set. And I'm like, yeah. Then Mark has a guitar. And I start realizing we got a problem here. Because yeah. I don't. <laughs> and they walk me to this bass, John's brother Mike's bass. And it's up on this giant, uh, I'm already this big, right? It's up on this dresser. And it looked like this giant monolith of what I didn't want to play. And that's how I started playing bass. Man. It's Rainier Avenue Radio Dot World celebrating Black History Month. Live from the historic Columbia City Theater, Bob Lovelace and friends. Uh, Bob, f does what does Black History Month mean to you, hold for you? I know for a lot of people it's something that they celebrate every day. So there isn't. But, but we do have this month, again, started in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson to recognize the accomplishments of African Americans because they weren't being recognized. Not only that, of course, we know that ideas were stolen and credited to other people. Um, but this is part of making sure that the traditions and the history of African Americans aren't just African American history, they become part of American history. What does it mean for you? Well, I mean, um, at the African history in America blends in so much with American history. And, and, and it's, not, it's not a separate history, it's only separate battles. You know, like meaning our history, we're, we're all in this together, no matter if you fight it or not. But what I love the most, and what happens to me in music, and especially like in American music, I love the blend of the West African culture with Irish folk songs. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, and that's like a special thing. And that only, and that happens one other time, that in West Africa actually itself, if the songs from Ireland in West Africa that are the same music, and there's been a guy that met a West African and he put the music over each other, and they worked perfectly. And I feel that connection happened in a different way in America because 
because of because of our separation and because of the way that we weren't allowed to assimilate because that's that's all our problem is we you just weren't allowed to assimilate and that's that's a problem when you make a mass population that's never allowed to be in but because of that we also kept a lot of our culture really really strong even though we had to hide it but when you mix that it one part of america is the black culture mixing with the other culture you know like we call it nowadays we just call it rock and roll but that's what that is. That's what makes it different. That's what makes it special. That's what makes hip hop hip hop. It's it's the it's, it's not the lessons learned of the structure of music. It's the direct culture blending music. So black culture is black culture in America, America is part of America. Without that inside of it, you don't get a full picture of the country we've been in. We've we've all been here for four hundred years. My guest Bob Lovelace. Bob, can we meet the friends real quick? Yeah. And, and you know what, friends? Uh, if you're going to introduce them when they speak to themselves, do do a little a little quick something something on your instrument too, just so that we, in addition to meeting you, we hear a little. So however you want to go. Right. On keys, we got Joey Soulbomb. Joey got vocals too. We gonna hear a little vocal from you, Joey? Uh, uh. You, you are the sunshine of my life. <laughs> That's why I'll always be around. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, Joey. <laughs> so long. We got, we got Brian Sting Shark Ray on guitar. Sting Shark. <laughs> Conrad Real, Superman himself. MC Textiles back there, Tracy Armour. High point in the house, yo, HP, West Seattle, for those who don't know. They don't know, fuck that. <laughs> I reckon it ain't there no more. It's the remodeling and the gentrification and all that hoo-ha. But on the real, though, I'm, I'm uh, born in Tacoma, raised in West Seattle, High Point Projects, been uh, dancing and rhyming and local hip hop and all that other stuff. Keeping it real, holding down for the west side, because the west side is the best side. Yeah. Yep. And that was with no opinion. And this is <laughs> and this is Kane, and this is Kane Coldo. Yeah, he's been singing for you all night. What's up, man? I'm Kane from Coldo. Um, Brooklyn boy, West Indian, Puerto Rican, right here in your house, man. And um, it's just definitely a blessing and. To answer that question about you know the black history, for me, being a young man who's raised by a woman who lived to be like 102 years old, I was literally raised by sons and daughters of slaves. So therefore, I had no other you know choice but to have black history in my home every day. Yeah. Not every day, every day. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Every day. So therefore, for me, it means so many different things. And for me, the one thing about black history I can say is that gives us a chance to really push more awareness, not for just our own, but our fellow.
call it Ameritrans because there's no more black men and white men. It's Ameritrans. Peace out, America. And, and, and I want to give you some, too. So I'm going to do it like, look. And the, f the, the Bob hey. Lovelace right. of Bob Lovelace and Friends. Right. Right. Bob Lovelace. Want to play something? <laughs> Before we go, uh, I want to, you know, give you an opportunity to say some final words. Definitely mention projects that you've got going on, how people can get in touch with you, the bands that you play with. Just a 411, man, for everybody out there um, right now. I'm playing in Aaron Jones. You can see Marmalade whenever we open up every Thursday in Fremont, one day again. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, um, I have my own band as well, though, that's just coming out now. It's like a lot more folk-oriented. But right now, what everyone needs to do is learn each other. So you could take Black History Month as a chance. Hi. Hi. Well, what everybody needs to do right now <laughs> is to learn each other. <laughs> and you can take Black History Month as a chance to just, to just learn about something else. Just to, just to learn. Ignorance causes pain. There's, there's nothing else to that. Just so we got about <laughs> uh, a minute or two left. So I'm going to uh, talk for about a minute or so and tell people about Call to Conscience. Um, it'd be real cool if y'all could give me some going out music to talk okay. over. Would that be cool? Just, you know, I'll just start talking and you can figure it out. Thank you for joining Rainier Avenue Radio Dot World, our celebration of black history all month long. Uh, it's a holistic, comprehensive experience of what it means to be black. So you're going to get a lot of different things this month. Uh, we've had Tina on tech, Tina on football, uh, talking about the impact now currently of African Americans and black Americans uh, on the NFL. Uh, we've talked with uh, Aaron Dixon and seen the film My People Rising. Aaron, the uh, co-founded the Black Panther Party in Seattle. This first chapter formed outside of the city of Oakland. Coming up this Friday, we've got the Hartsfield Quilt Collection. That's at 5 o'clock. Uh, earlier in the day, we'll have conversations with Northwest legacy makers and history builders, Don Mason, Omari Tahir, Garrett Elmer Dixon, Bernie Foster, Eddie Rye Jr., Vivian Phillips, Trish Milanese Zyko. Um, yeah, just... Uh, all month long, we have stuff planned. Go to the website at RainierAvenueRadio.world, uh, and you can get the 411 on everything that's taking place. It's been great. It's been a blast. Uh, that's it. That's all the time we have. Thanks once again to Bob Lovelace and friends. Big shout out again to the sound man, Jake Hilliard. Hillard. Great job, Jake. To the video producer, Cedric Prim. Uh, on camera, uh, Casey and Jenna and Tyrone and James, uh, Amelia. Uh, great job, everybody. Happy birthday, Jeff. Until next time, remember, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you are probably right. I'm out. Peace. Peace.